I understand we have another low information caller who thinks we're better off thanks to Spider Man. Let's see if I can set her straight. You're on with J. Jonah Jacobson. I just want to say that I've never seen Manhattan so safe and peaceful. Compare what it was like when Spider Man first showed up to now. Okay, fair enough. I will. Then we had police and firefighters doing a wonderful job. There was crime, sure, but nothing they couldn't handle. Of course, we do have things now we didn't have then. Maniacs who shoot electricity out of their eyes. Walking piles of sand. Nazis made of bees! Didn't Spider-Man put all those guys in jail? You're missing the point! They didn't exist before he came along. At best, he attracts them. But I've often wondered if they're in cahoots. Wow. I've never actually heard anyone say cahoots before. Look, all I'm saying is, I'd hate to imagine what would have happened if all those guys showed up and Spider-Man wasn't here. Another lost cause. Got one. Officers respond. Witness report of an active drug deal. Lately, I have been playing Spider-Man a lot myself, uh, but when I first played Spider-Man, it was a bit laggy. Not a bit, but yeah, it was quite laggy. So, I'll be showing you what I did to make my Spider-Man game way smoother than it used to be from when I launched it for the first time. So, uh, I hope this video helps you guys. So, without wasting much time, let's get into the video and yeah, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't and let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is obviously just go to the search bar and type power options or you can just go to edit power plan and power options. Here you have balanced, ultimate performance, high performance. So yeah, you can just switch to anyone you like. So you can just switch to high performance. But in case you have ultimate performance, you can just go ahead and enable ultimate performance. And in case you do not have this ultimate performance, you will see your video on the top right corner popping up. So go ahead and watch the video to create an ultimate performance power plan for your PC if you do not have one. And this ultimate performance power plan is not really a problem for PC users. But if you are a laptop user, all the fans of your laptop, you know, your laptop is going to become a jet. Anyways, uh, next thing is just right click and go to display settings. By the way, all the steps I'm showing will work for Windows 10 as well. Now scroll down until you find graphics. Now here you will see browse. If you do not have this browse option, make sure to select desktop app. Browse and just locate Spider-Man. So here it is, just click add. Once added, just hit options and click high performance. In case your processor has inbuilt graphics, you will see like suppose Intel HD, right? So you will see in power saving Intel HD and in high performance, you will see your GPU's name. But in my case, my processor doesn't have integrated graphics. So I am seeing my GPU's name only. Now click save. Another option is uh, just right click this PC, go to properties and advanced system settings. Under performance click settings and visual effects. By default the first option is selected. Make sure to select adjust for best performance and hit OK and OK. Now these are the settings that you need to do beforehand and if you want to explore a few more optimization options you can find some other videos popping on top right corner right now or i will give the link of optimization videos in the description as well so you can just go ahead and watch it now just uh, open the game and you can just go to settings and here you will have different different things listed but instead of editing all this here we are going to open the game first and then I will change the settings the reason because 
If I change the settings right here, you won't see the difference. But if I do it in game, you will see the difference in the background as I'm changing the settings. So just go ahead and click play. Okay, so once you're in the game, just go to settings and in settings, you can just go ahead and go to and uh, yeah, one thing, in case you think I'm just using some other person's video, I should tell you that I'm using a controller myself. That's why if you want to see the controller unboxing, you can just click on the top right video and because this game is way more fun with the controller. Anyways, once you're in display, you go to upscale method and by default, it is off. So yeah, just select AMD FSR 2.0 and this is the frame rate that you do not really want to mess with just leave it off and in AMD FSR you will have different options balance performance ultra quality and stuff like that so what you can do is you will have AMD FSR in only if you have an AMD CPU and in case you have NVIDIA GPU you will be having DLSS but only if it is an RTX one. So yeah, I do not have an RTX graphic card, but I do have an AMD GPU. So yeah, just AMD FSR is an upscaling technique. If you want to know more about upscaling, you can just go ahead and Google it. Basically, it what upscaling does is just makes the picture quality look good when the resolution actually is low. Now in the graphics options, you can see I have set it low, but let me show it what happens when you turn it to medium you can see the game suddenly frozen on high it's st st just stuck right it is just stuck on high and obviously why would we go to very high when <laughs> we can't even play on high so just set it to low or very low I won't recommend very low but yeah set it to low and then you can just go ahead and launch the game because the presets are already made pretty good so you don't need to mess up but just one thing that you need to do is use AMD FSR because if you set it to low and use no upscaling method it's gonna look really bad because the white stripes the white spider you see on spider-man's back is looking not really sharp but yeah it's okay -ish. but in case you do not use upscaling that's gonna look that the straight legs of the spider are gonna look crooked and same is gonna happen with the web it won't be a straight line instead it will be jagged line so obviously upscaling will make it way better upscaling will smoothen out the rough edges and make the game and make the game look good so yeah just select any upscaling method DLSS or AMD depending on your PC if quality under AMD FSR doesn't help you can just go ahead and select performance to give you a better performance in, in terms of frame rate well that was it you can just go ahead and play the game now because there's nothing much to do the presets are already pretty good and just a bit of tweaks that you needed to do so yeah uh, that was it I hope this video helps and if it does make sure to drop a like Subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends and see you soon in the next video.